follow up now on a fire at an abandoned home in Marion County. It happened last night and it is the second fire in the same place in just the last month. This time it spread to a neighboring home and people who live in that neighborhood want to know why nothing is being done about that property. So we sent Tim Becker out to dig deeper into those concerns. This is what is left of the house at 4240 Glendale Avenue Northeast. I found out it has been vacant now for about a year, and neighbors tell me they've complained about it numerous times to authorities. You just can't leave stuff like that empty. It, it, number one, it's a waste. If they had maybe done something about it in the first place, you'd have a nice family living in a nice house instead of a burned out hulk. Joanne Tancredi still wonders who owns this pile of charred remains. We found an owner listed on the Marion County tax rolls. They even paid taxes last November. But I found out that doesn't necessarily mean that they're accountable for what happened here. Tax assessors will have somebody listed as the owner of the property, but often they, they don't even know that they're still the owner. Brady Rogers deals with these situations all the time. He tells me one of the Salem Neighborhood Enhancement Office's biggest hurdles when it comes to enforcement is finding a home's true owner. And the more clouded the title gets and the more people that have liens on the property or a second loan, uh, the more complex a case it is to unravel and to get injustice. Who do you call? We're in the county couple blocks away from the cities. In this case, the burned transient house is literally just feet outside of city limits and part of unincorporated Marion County. I checked with the sheriff's office and they tell me they have made four service calls to the address in the past year, twice for open doors earlier this year before the fires, and then contacted the bank to get the place secured. In the end, it didn't matter. The neighbors wonder what will happen here next. We do too and plan to follow up. In Salem, Tim Becker, Coin 6 News.